Okay, ladies and gentlemen, just following up on the story of the migrants that attacked uh, police officers in New York City. There were about four, five, six of them, maybe, or multiple of them, if I use the right um, connotation of words. Multiple of them. And I've, I can see that the mayor, the governor, and um, the New York City DA, or New York State DA, the DA, pretty much, are, I don't even know what they are doing. It seems as if they do not care about the outrage of the people in New York City or New York City people, period. They don't really care. They only care about politics. They care about money. And they care about basically things that does not pertain to New Yorkers. This is New York. I know New York people are hard. New York people are nice. New York people are are um, hospitable. But at the same time, you cannot just push New Yorkers to the wall. When you push them against the wall, they will fight back. So let's just listen to the news, what, what, what Fox is saying regarding um, what they care about, what this, these three faces on my screen care about, which is the mayor of New York City, the DA, and the governor of New York State. Let's listen. Stay now. Only one suspect in the brutal beating of the four NYBT office, NYPD officers last week is currently NYPD, held yes. on a $15,000 bail. Investigators say they're still trying to track down all those who took part in the attack. Some of the men were arrested and released with no bail. But officials say the worst offenders are still on the run. I want to bring in New York Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis. It's great to have you here. And New York City what? Council Member Vicky Palladino, because this story is getting a lot of national attention. Do you... Do we know where these migrants are? Well, she's absolutely right. The story is getting national attention. And take, for instance, Governor Abbott in Texas, the governor of Texas. He's actually looking at this and say, hey, this is what we go through and deal with in Texas. Now you are seeing what we're talking about. Now you are facing what we're talking about, which is why he said, if you cannot allow Texas to handle it on their own, I'm going to ship them to you. Texas is not a sanctuary state. So if New York and Chicago, for example, a sanctuary state, take the migrants and figure them out. And let me see how you can handle them. Let's hear what this lady has to say. Well, basically, rumor has it because they, they're free. They're out. Uh, no charges, no nothing. They're out. Try to find them. They, rumor has it, California. That's what they say. How did they get from New York to California? They are free to roam as they please. This is how all... mad is the city council or not? How mad is the city right. council? I don't think they the don't city care. council has moved at all. Because There you go. She's absolutely right. The city council has not moved. They've not done anything. Where are these people? Nobody knows exactly where they are right now. They were arrested. The ones that were arrested initially put in jail, and build out the next moment, which is why in New York City, a lot of people commit crimes to the point where some people are maimed or hurt badly, but the perpetrators or the people who commit the crime don't stay behind bars because the reform in New York City is pretty much, if the offense is not to a certain limit, they don't need to be in jail. If it's not... Um, to a certain amount, dollar-wise, they don't need to be in jail. They let them go free. So now who knows where these migrants are that attacked New York City finest. Because had it not been covered in the news, mm -hmm. and I'm sitting here before you today, they could care less. Mm. So uh, what we're learning, New York Post is report. We, we thought on Friday that a faith-based group, of which so people who don't live in New York, just so you know, the faith-based uh, faith groups are, they run the interface for all the migrants throughout the city. Mm -hmm. uh, and they help them in all the different boroughs. We thought on Friday they were helped by a faith-based group to get on a bus. Apparently that's not the case. The Post is reporting the police have an idea of where the men are. I think here's the fundamental question. If you're a Democratic leader in the city of New York today, what do you want to do? Do you want to allow these men to go ahead and dissolve back into the border across into Mexico and the story's forgotten? Or do you want to arrest them, apprehend them, bring them back to New York City before a judge and get weeks of terrible publicity for awful policies? Well, I don't think any Democrat would do that. The question he's asking is absolutely on point. If you're a Democratic leader, what would you do? Would you allow these men 
to leave the United States and go back to where they came from, which makes sense to most people. Most people say, yes, let them go. We don't need them in America. Makes sense. Or would you actually get them from where they've been apprehended and bring them back to New York to face justice and make it a public show so that you put names to the faces of those people who should not be allowed into the United States of America. Like I said initially, Governor Abbott in Texas has been dealing with this for years. The state of Arizona and the state of New Mexico, they've been dealing with this for years. And they know how to handle issues like this. I think the DMs or the Democrats, Democratic leadership in New York, Governor, Mayor, and the DA should call Governor Abbott and ask him, the state of Texas, the governor of the state of Texas, and ask him, how do you handle such situations? So you can share insights and then deal with it amicably. Let's see what this lady, lady's answer is. Well, I know that New Yorkers want to see these individuals held accountable. And I think it goes back to the laws that uh, Bill de Blasio passed in 2014 that prohibits NYPD from cooperating with immigration customs enforcement to have these individuals deported. Literally, a detainer request can be on any individual, including the one who committed murder, by the way, at the Roosevelt Migrant uh, Center. And yes, that's true. The NYPD, they have that right, which is she, she's just picking, picking, it, picking the points correctly. Governor de Blasio actually signed an order. NYPD, basically, in the apprehended criminal, the criminal goes to jail. Migrant or non-migrant. Border Patrol don't get, do, does not get involved. Um, ISIS does not get involved. They deal with the person here in the States. And peradventure, the person serves their time. Then you can get deported. That's how they had it before. But what happened? What then happened? And uh, they will release that individual back onto the street if they're not going to jail. Uh, and, and, and instead of deporting that individual and working with ICE, they've, they've actually denied every single detainer request. And we know that thousands of, in, there at least been a thousand individuals mm -hmm. at these migrant encampments that have committed crimes in the city, everything from mm -hmm. assault uh, to robbery, to grand larceny, to stabbing and a murder. Uh, and, and these cops weren't the first to be assaulted. People should know that there was a woman who slapped a police officer outside his shelter. Um, there was also a DUI arrest by, of a migrant that ended up biting the finger of a mm -hmm. NYPD mm. sergeant. And these people are back on the street. I mean, somebody who pickpocketed eight times arrested, released back onto the street to go one of, to one of these luxury we, hotel we, rooms. We saw the governor of New York on that subway car last week say, if you mess with our cops, you will not, you will pay the price. The will, will she follow up on her own? She will not follow up on it. She will not. She will not. The powers that be will not let her. She can say all of that, but she will not follow up. I don't think she have the spine to do that. I don't think she does. I'm saying that with a grain of salt. I don't think if she did, for adventure, she does great. But if I don't think she can do that right now. She's part of the Democratic Party. You don't punish people. You don't put people in jail. You don't deport people. You're a sanctuary state. You claim to be a sanctuary state. You wanted them here. They came here because you wanted them. And because you wanted them here, here they are. Let's see her answer. Words. The one thing the governor of the state of New York has the ability to do is to actually fire people like Bragg, and she could she could do away with the law that was passed in 2017, mm -hmm. 2014. She can do away this with all of that. This is all within her grasp. Yep. They're not doing anything. Ask yourself why. Why aren't they doing anything? I've held the governor of this state accountable for every single thing that's happened with the migra with the immigration and the illegal aliens flooding, invading our city since this started. Okay, and yet they all talk the talk. Nobody wants to actually do what needs to be done. And you brought up. And she's absolutely right. They talk the talk. The press conference, they do that very well. They show up in droves, including Alvin Bragg, the D of New York. They show up and they do it, but they do nothing. They do nothing. Think about it. You own a corporation and your managers are not doing the proper job. Or they say, we're going to do this, we're going to do that, and production stinks. 
in your corporation, in your business, in your even in your house. They say they're going to clean the dishes and they don't do the dishes. They say they're going to do the laundry and they don't do the laundry. How would the chief of the house, the father of the house or the mother of the house, how would she feel when she comes home and the home is all a mess? Or you go to your business and all of a sudden you are in, in big debt because somebody either stole from your company or somebody did not make sure the production, the, pro, the products get to the shelf so that you can sell and make revenue. You will fire that person. Like she said, the governor of New York City, of New York, sorry, New York State, Kathy Hochul, has the power and the leverage she needs, law based on the law of New York City and the law of the state and the law of the land. She has the right to fire that person. I'm sorry, you're fired. I'm sorry, you're fired. They should take a lesson from The Apprentice. Thank you for watching my channel. I'm going to end it right there. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.